Right. I'm opening the game because I want to. I want to feel it. So if I'm walking around, I can tell there's a little bit of motion blur happening around my character, especially. Especially. Right. So, and right now I am on. Still on. Wait. I'm still on the frame rate. Push is at five. Put it to zero. Yeah, I can I can sort of see it. I'm not sure if it's better though without. Like I feel like actually it might not be better without. Maybe two. So there's a little bit of it, but like not too much. I don't know, it doesn't look good. I'm disappointed, it doesn't look good. Am I crazy? It seems like... It seems like I'm not even getting 60 FPS right now. I, I don't like the motion blur, but like I feel like right now, like that's... Without hit, it doesn't seem as good. Maybe because I got used to how it looks, but... It looks kind of weird to my eyes. Okay, uh, make for Northreach. Okay, let's go. Don't tell me. For We're not supposed to be here necessarily, uh, if I remember correctly. We're just kind of passing through. Because the whole point is to go north yeah we're just passing through so look at the world map for a second so uh side quest was there was no more side quest right i had done everything right uh yes Pretty sure I had upgraded all my loot as well. Do I have enough potions? Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Uh. And none of these are good. No, we're still missing. We're missing a potion. Oh, yes. I got nothing that's oh I do. Here's what we agreed on. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Good day. Okay. Sun's setting fast. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some getting used to the combat again because it's been a little while. Is it safe to ride to Northridge now? This is all new. Okay. Forgot that I was on, forgot that there was like a, a Garuda setting. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to teleport forward. Nope. I will not. The okay, sound of the game is a little loud. I'm going to lower that just a smidge. Yeah, that seems that's probably going to be better. Okay. Good Gil. a dead end that way.
That dodge was incredible. That wasn't bad at all. That was good. I read twice. Okay, so what's the what's this item? Let's just get. Burning blade damage by 7%. Burning blade. E wave. Oh, th this attack that they use all the time. Okay. Interesting. Because I literally use that attack like all the time. Wait. What are the ones I'm using right now? Any potency? Gouge? I do use gouge. I don't use gouge as often as I use the other one though. I'm going to try that to see, see what happens. Hold on. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. When I go this way. I have to say I miss the old school uh, FF games, not because of the combat system or the story or anything like that. It's more like the world feels like the world design feels too close to to real life. Um, I'm not saying it's it is real life, but I'm saying it's very close to it. Like the design of the trees and stuff like that. Like I feel like uh, games like FF10 or FF12 had like some kind of more unique designs in terms of like every location feeling vastly different and stuff. And also, like, uh, I feel like the, um, I'm, I really miss having a party. Um, I think that was, like, a big thing that I really enjoyed, uh, more than I thought I did from the previous games. And, uh, also, like, the loot. Like, the loot from chests. Like, finding crafting materials all the time and or, um, and, and not really finding anything more or that useful. Even, even, like, money seems to be scarce. Like, it, I don't, it just doesn't feel interesting. To, to find the chests on the ground like it's more like it's almost like um like chests in this game are more like what i feel like whenever i'm breaking a barrel in another game where it's more like i'm expecting just random stuff that i don't really need um whereas like in another game that ha that has like let's say barrels to break and and actual chests whenever you get to a chest you're kind of you're getting a lot of loot you kind of you get excited uh, and whenever you get a barrel, you just kind of eh. Well, in this game, it's like the barrels, the, the chest just feels like eh. Like I'm not excited to find anything. And I think it's mostly because of like the way the game is designed. Like uh, even like gear wise, like there's so few options. They can't, and, and because we only have one character, so they can't really, um, they can't really like give us that much loot. I feel like so we're it feels like we're very limited in what we can possibly get so because of that reason the and they can't like give us too many potions because we were we're hard cap on potions as well so because of that like we were we're capped on consumables we're capped on stuff we can equip uh pretty pretty harshly but the only other options stuff that they can give us through loot is just crafting materials or money and there's literally nothing else and even money 
the way the they, they designed the uh, the um hey Carson, what's up man the, the, this, good morning uh they designed the um the 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 economy in this game so like tight that they they don't feel like they can give us too much money either so really the only option they can give us is is crafting materials which is why uh loot is so uninteresting i feel like if that makes sense carton i hope you had a great week this week uh man i i wish i had time to stream this week i would have i would have loved to stream that would have been so nice i feel like i'm i'm I feel like I haven't streamed in like two weeks. Even though I, I Oh, what are these? Or oh, raptors? What in the world? Nice. Very nice. Dude, like raptors just look like chocobos, but without the feathers. Wait, is this, this entire area is off map. See, it's not even, it's not in, on the map. What does that mean? Well, the fort here in the States was fun and safe. Good to see you. Oh, that's awesome. Happy 4th of July. Uh, belated, because obviously we're, we're like four days later. But uh, but yeah, happy 4th of July. I'm very, very happy for you. But what did, did you do anything uh, interesting? You, oh, oh, it finally unlocked. The map finally unlocked. Okay. So it was just like I, I probably didn't explore it enough for it to kind of unlock on the map itself. Interesting. This one is massive compared to the other ones. Oh, that chest is a little bit more ornate. There might be more loot in it. It was mostly crafting materials, but it was more than usual, I would say. I was kind of hoping, like, at least if the chest was ornate, it, that would mean that, like, it would guarantee, like, an item drop instead of just crafting materials, but I, I guess not. I guess that's, that's just that's what we got. Also, it seems like that was that might have been the only chest in the area. The rest of the area was just empty. Bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Because we still have like the entirety of that other zone to explore, like a clear view. Lots of stuff in there. Already just enjoyed the day. Nice. I had a very, very, very busy week uh, last week. Work-wise, and uh, it's it's just gonna get crazier and crazier uh, every week. I'm still gonna try and squeeze in more streams. Um, I've been trying to set up uh, YouTube streaming. I, I worked on that yesterday, like a whole bunch, but it's really more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. Like a lot of the overlays just don't translate. They they just don't like they don't apply properly. And a lot of the website I'm using, like Stream Elements and stuff like that, like they're all so embedded. Uh, with Twitch that like it's kind of hard to make make anything for YouTube work but Yeah, I've been kind of looking at it Ideally what I'd like to do is get like a, maybe like a different game going Oh, oops, there we go 
he had like one game on uh twitch and then like another game on youtube and kind of alternate between the two or something What is the next game you're going to be interested in uh, getting, Carden? Just out of curiosity. Ooh. Hello, Dragon Days. I was in a perfect dodge the first time, but second time, yes. Boom! Ha ha! That was good. Yeah, that sound is so big. I'm gonna miss loot. There's no way I don't miss a chest or something. Right? Like, it's so freaking big. And they might, like, put chests, like, on little ledges like this or something. I don't know. I'm noticing something. I'm noticing that we're not, we don't have a mount, right? Like we don't have a chocobo that we can ride around. And that's probably because the zones are too small, but like, that feels weird. I'm not having like a chocobo theme for a uh, Final Fantasy game. They usually there's like a, at least one, if not many different Chocobo themes, like a, like a soundtrack was. Oh, it's so far. Finished. What? Targo was fighting all the way here? Oh my god, they was so far away. They all can't be seven when it comes to Chocobos. I mean, true, but like every single Final Fantasy game at least has one soundtrack. Um... Like one part of the soundtrack that's like a, a song f made for Chocobo writing, which is so weird that it's, you know, not doesn't seem to be the case in this game. But also, like, we're still fairly early on, I think. So maybe. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Didn't realize I could fall from that. Okay, so more crafting materials. We did get a goblin coin, though. That's worth a little bit more. Not one of these guys. Oh. Oh. 
Are you planning on grabbing this game for yourself, Karkin, at some point, or no? Whoa. Yeah, I agree. You said I haven't gotten D4. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, that was not my best fight. Let's just say that. That didn't go too well. I wasn't paying super attention <laughs> to the mechanics. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many enemies on this map, though. It's good for XP. One thing I gotta say though is in this game, like I feel like the fighting is too easy. Like 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 normal enemies, if you just attack them normally, they are they're always staggered. Like you will never attack me. If I just keep pressing square, it'll never attack me. See? I don't even need to do anything. Just because it's a normal enemy, like they're just it's that easy. Hey Andy, what's up, man? No more giggity. Hey, what do you mean no more giggity? Wait, what's happening? That was weird. Come back here. Nice. Thirty. Thirty. Wait. But wait. There was no alerts. There was no. There was no message in chat either. Did you? Did you do share? Did I miss the? I don't think I missed the alerts. Did I? Ah, there it is. <laughs> hey, and dude, thank you so much. 70 months. Oh my god, that's a lot of time. Thank you so very much for that. It's incredible. Oh my lord. Also, this is the first time we fight vultures, I'm just noticing. And dude, have you seen the uh, Diablo 4 announcements? It's over. Ah, oh, that's a weird way to level up. Stabbing a bird feels feels bad, man. Oops. Uh, seven hundred point. No, I want to wait because it's not. Gonna, I'm not going to use this. Uh, I, I honestly would rather like upgrade this or even that. Let's say. I'm not using either of these two, so like there's no point in upgrading those. I mean, I guess like what I could do potentially is get aerial blast and upgrade it so that it's also in the rotation somewhere, like on one of the icons. Because if I upgrade it all the way, I can use it on any icons. 
so like let's say we have like another icon we unlock and i don't like the skills i can always like have cyclone i guess but uh the one for season one like all the information for season one for diablo for diablo four I was gonna buy Baldur's Gate 3, but after the announcement yesterday, I just pulled the trigger. I just I just decided to to get it right away. Especially because like they're gonna have like a, a digital deluxe edition for a Baldur's Gate 3. And um if you if you buy the game regular right now, you're gonna get the deluxe edition upgrade for free. So I'm probably gonna save like 30 30 dollars or something. So I figured I might as well do it. Especially since I know I'm going to be playing it. Like, I was already planning on, but, like, after seeing the uh, the update from yesterday, I was, that's that became a guarantee. Like, uh, it looked so good. Oh, you haven't seen the Season 1 yet? Season 1 stuff is pretty cool. I think it's going to be, like, a game changer, probably, for a lot of stuff. And the new mechanic they're adding and stuff, like, it looks pretty cool. Oh, I can see from the other side. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is super interesting. I can see what's on the other side of the bridge here. What these mobs are. I mean, we've been there before. So, I mean, I'm not too interested in going back there. Just because it's, you know, it's a previous zone. But it is interesting that I can, like, kind of see ahead of like into the next area you look it up oh it's it's pretty nice it's a fairly long announcement though because they um they coupled the announcement with information on the new class for diablo immortal so because of that reason it kind of became like uh kind of became like a super super long announcement because they did, because they talked about like basically two different games. That's just sad. There has to be a way to like improve finishers at some point, right? Because like I feel like the finishers are they're, they're really not that strong. They do a bunch of damage, but like more often than not, enemies still alive. Like it barely does any any damage to them. Maybe finishers could only should only be done. I feel like they should have changed it so that finish you can only do a finisher uh if the enemy is like like it like make it so it's an execute. So you can only do it if the enemy has enough HP that the finisher would kill him. And then it becomes like an execute. That way it makes more sense. Cause like my character is like, and stay down. And then the enemy is like three quarters of its health still. So he doesn't stay down. Okay, so this is where we need to go. Wow, chugabos. Let's 
Barbecue chicken. Even more barbecue chicken. And dude, how was your week, by the way? Why they got aggroed? That was so far away. The antelope hit me. Wait. Yeah, so we're just gonna go backwards a little bit because there's still more mobs to kill and loot to gather. Before we move on, Stay okay. Yay to Gil. Tempest too hot. Not the funny hot. Yeah, no. It was, yeah, it was, it was way too warm in here. Same for me. I, I stayed indoors the entire week with like as much AC as I could, to could have. And even then, I feel like it still wasn't enough. Sometimes. Wait, is there some more mobs? Eight, wait, a worgen. Oh. Yeah, we have lots of crafting materials. I feel like we killed everything we could potentially kill and loot. I think we're good to go. Not reach. It's weird that the wild chocobos in this world are all the same colors, and all the other chocobos are all the colors of. They're all yellow. Also. Wait, more mobs. Did they all just respawn? I think they all just respawned. Oh, yeah, I think the loot all respawned everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the loot just respawned. Alright, so let's just ignore it. The what? Oh, okay. This one is from the finest desert wall. So it's the teleporter. I was like, what the heck is this? It seemed like it just spawned out of nowhere. I thought it was getting attacked or something, but no. Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather used. Used? Yes, but spent hardly. They've both at least a good year left in them. 
Oh, it's like a slave market. Oh my god, dude. You say these are all from Dalmechia? Ew. Oh, I can't wait to get to to just wreck those peoples. Uh I'm going into their capital. I'm gonna I'm gonna stir the pot. Hopefully free a few people. So it last time I was through the wall. Jutting up from the waves like the main is some giant beast. I heard tell it's the work of an icon. Might be Shiva. I heard the Iron Blood lost her on their campaign in the Republic. Yeah, they don't know, but like uh, literally three other icons are, are going to walk in in a few minutes. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Okay. None of these are any good. Oh, new crafting materials. Interesting. Nope. You've a keen eye. Wait. Welcome, welcome. I can tell. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. That's the best I can do. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. Okay. We're good. Go. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Brand. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Oh my god, dude. Um You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? She's, she's, yeah, she's kind of cute. Um, there's a reminder. Oh, it's a, it's a steward of uh, Sid's Idaway. Yeah, sure, I remember. Norwich. A town which doubles as a defensive gateway to Sembrick's holy capital of Oriflam. It was originally a purely military outpost, a towering bastion constructed to prevent land-based assault on the capital from the southwest. To this day, a heavily guarded checkpoint ensures that no one uh, can pass through the wall without prior authorization. And as such, the need to linger here prior to entering is led to the rise of a thriving market and various other commercial enterprises on the wall's southern side. The garrison, however, along with the inns and brothels, most of the soldiers frequent, as well as the residents of the nobles who make North reach their home, remain on the northern side. So on the opposite side of the wall. So we're on the southern side right now. Proprietors of the Vale, uh, North, North reaches foremost house of ill repute and one of Sid's trusted collaborators. Isabella is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement, qualities that have earned her the title, the Dame. Let's go. You can trust me, yes, but 
Why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. I just have to say that, like, it really, like, it, Sid's amazing. <laughs> like, it's just, it, it, like, every NPC we meet is like, oh, like, Sid did something so awesome to me a very long time ago. Like, he saved me or whatever, and now I owe him. Like, everybody is the same backstory. It's insane. I don't know, I don't know what Sid did, but uh, good lord, man. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. Oh my god. But I shall expect a favor in return. Hold on, guys. Okay. What? The, the thing is that worries me is like if we fail in the capital or if our face is recognized, all they have to do is just like track down down the line who recognizes that face. One of the guards is going to be like, oh, I've seen him enter through the wall with the dame. And then like, the dame is going to be screwed. I, I, I feel like that's not the safest. Like there should be like a back door or something. That'd be more convenient, like a way to climb the wall or enter, like without going through the regular gate. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Okay. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. What up? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. You're lucky I can't just kick your ass. I probably would. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, indeed. Also, we're but we're on this side of the wall now. That's the day done then. Drinks and the veil. 
How about the veil, then drinks? Okay. And the question is, is there any loot anywhere? My cousin in the capital said they lost one of the wolves to an ether flood. It was a good thing they got more than one then, eh? You! Where are the devils who dwell upon western shores? His radiance did command a great legion across the grace for to rid the realm of this stain, yet... 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 None did return! Devoured all by... Uh, by... The... <laughs> Oh, Out with it. Father, stop bothering this poor man and eat your supper. Man, that was. It seemed to be uh, painful to get that out. <laughs> that was. I didn't seem too too easy. Um, okay. Let's keep exploring before we go to the uh, place where we have to go. Just in case we can't go back here easily afterwards. Shit about bearer. Okay, just calm down. People are very mad at bearers. They really, really hate them. That is so pretty. Look at the zone. Damn, that's cool. But the castle right there too. That is really pretty. For loot, no chests. Crystals. In the another side street that way. That's the quest destination, so I don't want to go there yet. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will need to do all of that. Okay, go down this way. The bard, no chests. This is to go down to the beach area. We're good. The markets are a veritable midden, teeming with vermin. Ugh, you need not remind me. Their incessant chittering is ringing in my ears even now. Yay. Think I might see you tonight? <laughs> that depends on how much you want to see. Whoa. Okay. Damn. All right. Okay, cool. So we've explored the entire town. Um... Not much to see, really. Oh, wait, wait, there was like a top here. Wouldn't go on top here. There might be loot. 
And yes, there was. And I think there was like another, uh, another one of these, uh, gazebos or whatever, like up here. Can I, yeah, I can go up there. It's not been half a moon since Bell and this tour. I need to have a smart again. <sighs> That's what we signed up for. Oh. Daily regimen. Roll call morning prayer rounds the striking dummies, midday rations, the butts. Armored sparring, kit maintenance, grounds keeping roll call. Okay, nothing here. Okay, now we're officially done. Let's go. one of the girls draw a bath that won't be necessary Clive my darling welcome to the veil okay Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. They haven't yes. reached the check. Wait, what? Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Moon and stars, okay. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. The Iron Flagon. I should probably start here. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. Cool. Oh, we have side quests now. Is that right? I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. The garrisons are being called back to the capital. We're to join the legions. Are these cyclists or are these like people I need to talk to to find the girl. There might just be people I need to talk to, to be honest. Uh, 
heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. Is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. Sergeant's got it in for us, too. As if either of us needs to brush up on our swordcraft. <laughs> he wouldn't doubt our swordcraft if he'd seen us down the veil last night. <laughs> wow. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The inventory always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Sure, why not? <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe the floor with your face. His name is Leon. No. Let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. <laughs> easy he didn't let a single hit on me <laughs> what the hell are you playing at leon that was so good huh. so it's a real challenge he wants is it oh god i have to fight two of them sword up bearer let's have some fun shall we uh okay how the bearer win the dame's favor anyway by knowing when to hold my tongue for a start <laughs> Flames to me! Oh, got potential. I'll give you that. It's over. Stay. I'll be dead. Hey, good luck, Endu. <laughs> that was so easy. Oh my god. That was so freaking easy. Yeah, they got destroyed. Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. Nope. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Why would I do you a favor, though? Like, why? Why would I do that? Yeah, on second floor. Maybe don't branded. mention this to the dame. Sergeant, maybe we won't be getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Extra drills, it is. Uh... I didn't think they would talk both at the same time, I thought. Wait. The side quest up there too. 
Also, hold on. Um, what about the rest of the world? Is there a new side quest? I guess I would see them, right? I would see them like on the. So I, don't, I need to do this. 